Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate the rotation property using the time expression. This works great anytime you need a looping animation of the rotation property, such as animating an old cassette tape, or animating wheels on a bike or a car, etc. I imported the graphics as a Photoshop document, so you want to make sure whatever you want to animate is on its own layer. So in this composition, all I want to animate is the right and the left spool of this cassette tape. And if I solo the layers, you'll see that they are on their own layers. So first, I'm going to select the right spin layer. I'm going to press the shift key and click on the left spin and tap on R to bring up the rotation properties for both. To add the expression, hold down the option key if you're on a Mac, Alt on a Windows, and click on the stopwatch next to rotation. And in the expression box, I'm just going to type in a very simple expression, time asterisk that shift eight, then type in a number, and the number I'm gonna type in is 60. I'm just gonna click off, I'm gonna hit the space bar to preview. And now you'll see that right spool is spinning. The time part of it is indicating the time wherever the playhead is. Multiplied by this number, since we're dealing with rotation, we know that a full circle rotates 360 degrees, right? So 60 is 360 divided by six. So we're at the six second mark. So that means that between the zero and the six seconds, this is gonna rotate one full 360 degrees. If I was to change this to times times 360, we know that 360 is a full rotation. What this is saying is that when it gets to one second, since we're on frames per second, so one second, it is gonna rotate a full 360 degrees, which means that the animation is gonna be a lot faster because every second versus every six seconds, it's gonna rotate a full 360 degrees. So when I hit the space bar, you can see how much faster it is. So now that we've got the right side at that time times 60 or 360 degrees divided by six, let's animate the left side, but this time we'll have After Effects do the math for us. So I'm gonna select the left layer, I'm gonna press the Option key on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and then click on the stopwatch next to the rotation property. In the expression box, I'm gonna type in time, asterisk, and then I'm gonna enter the parentheses. After Effects will automatically add both parentheses. Then I'm gonna type in 360 for 360 degrees, divided, I'm gonna type in six, and I'm just gonna click off. And that is the exact same thing as time times 60. If I wanted to change this, maybe I want this to go to the four second mark, I can go 360 divided by four. And what that is saying is that every time the playhead gets to the four second mark, so four, eight, 12, it will rotate one full 360 degrees. I did the exact same thing for the wheels on this bike. The front and the back tire are on its own layers. You just select the layer, you tap on R for the rotation property, hold the option key or alt, Click on the stopwatch next to rotation. The expression I entered was time times 60, went back to the main composition, and the tires are rotating. And that is how you animate the rotation property using the time expression. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.